The Zero Escape series is my favorite visual novel series ever. I can still remember the emotion I felt while getting to the finale of Virtuous Last Reward. So this game being the latest work of Kotaro Uchikoshi, it has huge shoes to fill. So did this game deliver, and how does it stack up against other visual novels out there? Welcome to this reel where I talk about all things video games. In this video, I'm revealing I, the Somnium Files. I, the Somnium Files is a detective mystery visual novel game where I play as Konami Date, a special agent who is tasked to solve a case where a woman strapped on a merry-go-round was murdered with her left eye gone. This initial premise is used to set out the rest of the game's mystery. It's really a well-told detective story with many interesting sci-fi themes and concepts. Since the main part of playing video novel is the plot, I'll not be giving any more story details. I highly recommend you to go through this game spoiler-free. As expected from Uchikoshi games, the murder mystery is filled with many twists and turns with multiple branching timelines and endings, all culminating into one giant finale where all the revelations are revealed. Also expected from Uchikoshi work, I the Somnium File tells a rather dark and mature story with story beats that shows and tell horrific imagery that definitely earns its mature rating. Unexpectedly, however, is the amazing comedic tone that is sprinkled throughout the whole murder mystery case. There are so many funny moments in the game that came off so naturally. This game's ability to strike a serious and not serious tone need to be praised. This game writing is just immaculate, giving life to so many different colourful characters. Like seriously, almost every character in this story shines through in their writing, which all left a very big impression. And that even include the one-offs and minor characters. It's just insane how throwaway characters like a nurse, a receptionist, and a bodyguard are kind of flesh out in a way with so many memorable scenes and banter. Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. I'm married. Which brings me to the amazing presentation of the game. The English dub is absolutely insane. The entirety of the game is dubbed, with so many lines in the game. I gotta say, all of the voice actors nailed their roles perfectly. The dialogue and writing is so good that I will investigate the surrounding fully and exhaust all dialogue options just to hear more extra dialogue. You wanker! Do you not know how to prepare a monk fish? Sorry, chef. Another praise to give is the soundtrack. This soundtrack complements the mood of the game so well from the goosebump inducing title track to sound the most disturbing track that fits the current disturbing scene it accompanies so well. It doesn't hurt that this game is absolutely beautiful too, which is a huge step up from Zero Time Dilemma, where the presentation is riddled with many bad animations and models. It really goes to show how Uchikoshi can deliver with a higher budget. In contrast with Zero Time Dilemma, all the models in eye are really clean and pleasing to look at with smooth and fluid animations to boot. Even down to the environment and UI, it's all filled with so much detail. The presentation really sets it apart from many of its visual novel contemporaries out there. The main gameplay this time is the Somnian sections of the game, where Date gets to dive into the subject's dream and derive potential leads to help him solve the ongoing mystery. The Somnian sequences require you to investigate and interact with the dream world to unlock the subject's mental locks. This gameplay gimmick is used really well as certain subjects may not be willing to divulge answers willingly and the outcome of each Somnium is usually really interesting. The outcome will also serve as the way the story will branch in different directions, thus the Somnium sequences of the game heighten the stakes as well as moving the plot in interesting ways. I find that this is a way better approach than Zero Escapes, Escape the Room puzzles, as the Somnium sequences is usually really snappy and does not detract from the story progression and pacing, which is something I cannot say about the Zero Escape series Sometimes the puzzle in Zero Escape felt like an intrusion to the story as I can spend up to 20 minutes solving the escape room when all I wanted to do is just progress the plot. This is a non-issue in I as the Somnian sections perfectly fit the overarching narrative and doesn't come off as a distraction. Surprisingly comparing to Zero Escape, I tells a less convoluted and more down-to-earth story which in my opinion is a huge plus as it means you can join more people and it's definitely more accessible than the death game formula present in the Zero Escape series. And this can be seen in this game's finale. It ties everything up so nicely in its true ending, making the game feel very satisfying to finish, which is quite unlike the Zero Escape games, where there's always some sort of thing left behind for you to think about, where it will definitely still keep you up at night just thinking about the game you just finished. Which is why I found the standalone nature of I the Somnium File to feel pretty refreshing. To summarize, I the Sonium File is an intriguing plot with a very satisfying mystery. Coupled that with the impeccable writing that not only made major characters shine, it even made minor and throwaway characters important as well. A great presentation that sets a new benchmark for the visual novel genre with great music, voice acting, as well as well animated models.
It also has a very interesting concept and setting that is well integrated through its gameplay. As such, I'm giving I the Somnium Files a 9.5 out of 10. I highly recommend everyone to play this game, especially those who dig mystery stories. Even if you're not a fan of the visual novel genre, I have to still recommend I the Somnium Files to you. It is just that good. And with that, we have come to the end of this review. I will definitely be reviewing the Zero Escape series in the future on this channel. So if you don't want to miss out on all those videos, press the subscribe button. And if you're interested in another sort of visual novel game, you can watch my review of Catherine Full Body here. So long guys, so long.